Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. We just did a raid on the Walmart. Uh, we got the shoutouts. We added Florida bikes and gear. Can't remember anybody else right now, so sorry about that. Got Jared D, Cargo Bike Life, SE Bike Life, Retro Dude, and those I forgot. Okay, so uh, we'll add more later. So we're trying out this beer. I probably tried it before, but this is uh, let me take a sip of that. It's very good. Uh, excellent, because uh, I was uh, they were they were out of a lot of different beers, so I just grabbed whatever I, they had. This is actually very good. So Laker Red. Um, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys some uh, some tricks here in the Walmart. Uh, but first, you notice I got some of these. This is like a ripoff of the Tim Hortons, the Timbits. So these are quite good. Um, if you're at the Walmart and you're in Brampton, try these out. This uh, is like a little pricey. It's two ninety seven, I think it was, for just like three hundred ninety grams of cookies. But this is a uh, a very good. I think they make them in the store. Uh, I already ate some of those, <clears throat> so make sure you try those. We got the crispers. Uh, okay, so here's the deal. Uh, I originally didn't get this much stuff. I only got uh, like uh, three items, but. Uh, it, what what Walmart does is they they drop the price more than a fifty percent, depending on what store it is, uh, at at around eight thirty or nine p.m. So um, I got this at full price. I didn't pay for it. I just walked around the store. And then I went back uh, ten minutes later, and they dropped the price. So I just put that stuff back, and I got this stuff on sale. So I all these the the math is not right. Saving a dollar that's not right. I don't know what they're going by. But there's a big uh, uh, sign what the full price is. So this is uh, full price nine dollars, same as uh, uh, the the fried chicken, uh, which is excellent. That's eight ninety seven, and uh, here here's where's that here's a fried chicken. So four forty, that's less than half price. So this math is not right. What they're doing, what they're showing that you're saving, you're saving a lot more than that. So we got an, another potato wedge. We got potato wedges here. I tried it. These are excellent. So it depends uh, how 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 long it's been sitting, I guess. But these are excellent. So this also is wrong because the full price of this is five dollars, as far as I know. So you're, this is this is half price, better than half price. Um, so yeah, I just doubled up because I'm getting at a half price. So I just doubled up on a, a lot of this stuff here. And uh, I put back the barbecue one. I got this uh, herb and garlic. I don't care. Chicken's chicken. So this is not bad too. I didn't, originally I didn't like it, but not if you eat if you uh, eat it, it's not that bad. So we got in the freezer here some more uh, alcohol, so we can uh, chill that fast and drink it. Um, what else are we doing here? So yeah, they're they're uh, fried chicken. I just had a bite. It's very good. Uh, we got some more pickles. Uh, what can we talk about? So yeah, the the, the in in uh, Quebec, uh, Ontario. I mean, uh, in Quebec, Canada. That's the province of Quebec. They're doing some Nazi uh, kind of like rules, and now they're questioning Ontario, like people, like these news, these fake news stations uh, that are just spewing this propaganda. They're they're saying that they were they were asking uh, uh, Doug Ford, the pig. They were asking the pig. If uh, if we're if they're gonna mandate vaccines in Ontario, so they want to make it mandatory, uh, you know, because Quebec has already made it mandatory at the LCBO, which is called not LCBO in in Quebec. They got their own monopoly called the SAQ, Society de Alcohol de Quebec. So they got their own monopoly on there, and they mandate it so that you can't get alcohol <laughs> unless you're uh, you're you're vaccinated. Uh, there's another rule I forget what they were saying so they want to you know you got to watch these people these, these they're gonna make this thing this uh, stuff mandatory it's uh, you know like uh, you know people don't realize this vaccine is not mandatory all these companies firing everybody the Toronto Transit Commission just fired 350 workers because they didn't uh, get vaccinated by the deadline so that's illegal all the lawyers are talking about it right now that they're going to get sued because the government hasn't made the vaccine mandatory. So how do you fire people, you know, uh, from their jobs? They're, they're going to be paying some serious money and the taxpayer is going to be footing the bill because the uh, TTC is funded by taxpayers. 
Um, okay, uh, guys, have a nice weekend. We're going to get back to the feast here.